How's it going guys? My name is Michael and today I want to talk about some brand new stuff that was just announced for the upcoming Pokemon Sword and Shield game. That includes new Pokemon, version exclusives, and Gigantamaxing, Gigantamaxing. And first up we have the brand new Pokemon which include Alcremie, Yamper, Roly Coley, and Duraludon. Duraludon. I don't know what you would really call that, but you know what? He looks kind of cool. Um, so, you know, let's just call him Dura. Now, of course, Yamper was already kind of leaked, uh, if I remember correctly before. Uh, he's been kind of around already, so you may have already seen him. But again, we're getting some stats and a little bit more info on him today. But let's go ahead and start out with Alcremie. Now, Alcremie is a cream Pokemon. Its type is fairy. So height is one foot, weight 1.1 pounds, and the ability is Sweetville. And if you don't know what Sweetville is, Sweetville is an ability that prevents the Pokemon with said ability um, and its allies, including non-adjacent allies, from falling asleep. Rest will fail when used by the Pokemon with this ability or an ally, unless it has Mold Breaker, Turbo Blaze, or Terra Volt. Sweetville causes Yawn to fail if used on the Pokemon or its allies, including non-adjacent allies, and prevents the Pokemon and its allies already drowsy due to yawn from falling asleep and again when a pokemon with mold breaker turbo blaze or terra vault uses a move the effects of sweet belt including allies are ignored for the duration of that move as such if the move of a pokemon with one of these abilities triggers effect spore it will not be protected by sweet Vale. now back to al creamy now of course there's some more stuff that they added down here as you can see that talks more about al creamy um kind of describes it a little bit more but it says here, an idol to all pastry chefs. Well, alrighty then. It says Alcremie can produce whipped cream, which becomes richer the happier Alcremie is feeling. Desserts made using this cream are invariably, invariably, sorry, delicious. So many pastry chefs strive to have an Alcremie as their partner. Okay, alrighty. And also it says uh, its cream has a soothing effect. When attacked by an opponent, Alcremie will throw sweet scented cream to distract them from or temporarily blind them giving itself time to escape. The cream it uses for this purpose has an incredibly powerful soothing effect, and any opponent that tries to eat the cream will rapidly lose the will to battle. And, uh, well, that's, that's kind of interesting. And next up, we have Yamper. And again, like I said, this one was leaked a while back, uh, if I remember correctly. Um, of course, he's an electric type. He's a puppy Pokemon. Height, again, one foot. Weight, 29.8 pounds. Um, and then, of course, his ability is Ball Fetch. And if you don't know what Ball Fetch is, it's actually a really, really cool ability. And I'll read it here to you. It says, a Pokemon with Ball Fetch will collect the first Pokeball thrown that fails to catch a Pokemon if they're not holding anything. So that's a really, really good thing to have, especially if you're trying to catch really extreme, or really hard Pokemon. And of course, you have a really rare Pokeball or something like that. You throw it, you miss. He's going to go catch that Pokeball, or he's going to go fetch that Pokeball, and he will hold it till the end of the battle, and then, of course, you'll be able to pick that back up off of Yamper. So, again, that's really, really useful, especially when you're hunting other Pokemon. So, again, really good thing to know. Now, of course, down here, again, it shows a little bit more things uh, about Yamper and his personality, that sort of stuff. And it says here, is drawn to moving things. Yamper has a tendency to be drawn to things that are moving quickly. It can chase after people and Pokemon or even go charging at vehicles. And apparently, Yamper crackles as he runs. Yamper has an organ in his body that generates electricity. And this organ is activated when Yamper runs around. Yamper can't store the electricity it generates, so it's often seen running around with electric sparks crackling around it. It's pretty interesting, I guess. You can see the little sparkly spicks there, I guess you could say. <laughs> Oh man, it's pretty cool. But yeah, again, and talk about the ball fetch thing I already talked about. Again, really cool. So if you use a rare, a rare Pokeball and you miss, he goes and fetches it. Saves you for having to go and buy another rare Pokeball. And next up, we have Roly Coley. Now this one's really cool. I really like the name. I don't really know why. But <laughs> I really like the name. But uh, again, he is a cold Pokemon. Type is rock. Height one foot. Weight 26.5 pounds. And his ability is steam engine or heat proof. Now, when a Pokemon with Steam Engine is hit by a Fire Type or Water Type move, its speed stat is increased by three stages. And with Heat Proof, the ability halves the damage done by Fire Type attacks and the Burn Status ailment. And again, overall, solid Pokemon. I really like the look of them. Really like the name. This is definitely going to be one uh, I'm going to go after in the game. But also, we'll read down here. Kind of tells you a little bit more about Roly Coley. 
Um, it has no problem dashing through dark areas or rough terrain. Its red eye can illuminate dark areas while it uses a lump of coal attached to its body like a wheel to move through coal mines and caves. It seems to be able to travel smoothly even over rough terrain. Again here, every household once needed a roly coly. Until about 100 years ago, every household in the Galar region had a roly coly. The families would use the coal that dropped off its body for cooking and heating their homes. Even in the modern day, roly coly is a very popular Pokemon to take for outdoor activities. They are just using you, bro. You need to get out. <laughs> uh, they're using him for everything. Um, and then again, down here, talks about his ability. Roly Coley's ability, Stim Engine, is a new ability introduced in these titles. A Pokemon with this ability will get a speed stat boost if it's hit with fire or water type uh, move during battle. So again, really solid Pokemon. This is definitely one of my more favorite ones, I guess you could say. And last but not least, we have Dura Ludon. Dura Ludon. Dura. Ludon. Or Don. I'm gonna call him Don. Can we call him Don? I'm gonna call him Don. Uh, but again, he's an alloy Pokemon. Type is Steel slash Dragon. Height, 5 feet 11 inches. Weight, 88.2 pounds. Ability, Light Metal and Heavy Metal. He is literally just as tall as I am. That is pretty scary. Imagine having that thing stand right next to you. It stands right up next to you. And with the ability Light Metal, the user's weight is half. This may decrease the damage taken from Low Kick and Grass Knot. Uh, increase the damage taken from Heavy Slam and Heat Crash and lower the base power of the user's Heavy Slam and Heat Crash. And with Heavy Metal, of course, it's the exact opposite of Light Metal. Says here, the user's weight is doubled. This may increase the base power of the user's Heavy Slam and Heat Crash. Increase the damage taken from the opponent's Low Kick and Grass Knot and lower the damage taken from the opponent's Heavy Slam and Heat Crash. And again, this is going to be pretty useful depending on which one uh, you have with the Duraludon, whether you have Light Metal or Heavy Metal. Um, this is a really, really good one to use uh, to counteract certain moves. Because again, in some situations you want to be a little bit lighter, certain situations you'll be a little bit heavier. And moving on from there, we're going to talk about Gigantamaxing or Gigantamaxing, however you want to say it. And it says here, Gigantamaxing changes a Pokemon's size and its appearance. Again, changes its appearance too, which is pretty cool. Um, if you again read here, it says the strange phenomenon known as Dynamaxing can only occur in specific areas of the Galar region. While Dynamaxing seems to be a phenomenon known to the Pokemon from Galar, it's been discovered that there's a special phenomenon known as Gigantamaxing or Gigantamaxing too. Only certain species of Pokemon can Gigantamax. And even among such species, only rare specimens will be able to Gigantamax. The majority will keep their usual appearance when they Dynamax. Here it says Gigantamax Pokemon become bigger and just like normal Dynamaxing, Gigantamaxing boosts the power of the Pokemon. It also allows each Gigantamax Pokemon to use a unique move known as a G-Max move. Each G-Max move is particular to a specific species of uh, Gigantamaxing Pokemon and regular Dynamax Pokemon can't use G-Max moves at all. And what's really cool is it changes the appearance of the Pokemon as well. And I'll throw it up on screen here of the actual video showing these guys when they're actually being thrown out there for the Gigantamaxing forms, they completely change the way they look and it looks really, really cool. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of promise there. But anyways, that is the gist of Gigantamaxing. And the last thing we're gonna talk about is version exclusives. Now, to me, this is probably the most important part of the video because again, this directly affects which one you're going to buy. Should you buy Pokemon Sword or should you buy Pokemon Shield? Again, in past Pokemon games, uh, past Pokemon versions or whatever, it really didn't matter too much which one you got, whether you got, say for instance, Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, or Emerald, or if you got Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. The game was basically the same, it just came down to different types of Pokemon or exclusive Pokemon in each game. With Pokemon Sword and Shield, you're gonna have those exclusive Pokemon, and they're showed here. For example, with Pokemon Sword, you're gonna get Dino and jangmo o and in Pokemon Shield, you're gonna get Larvitar and Gumi. Now that's not the only thing that is different from Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now the other difference between Pokemon Sword and Shield is actually extremely important and could determine which one you would actually buy, whether you buy Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield. And that is you have different gym leaders. In Pokemon Sword, you will battle gym leader Bia. And in Pokemon Shield, you will battle Pokemon Alistair. 
and one of them is a fighting type as you can see and the other is obviously a ghost type so whichever one you want to go up against is going to be the game you're going to have to get because again they are each in their own separate games but guys that's going to do it for this video if you haven't already make sure you smash the like button consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this and also let me know down in the comments below are you excited for pokemon sword and shield and which one are you planning on buying are you going to get pokemon sword and fight gym leader bay bia whatever you want to call her or are you going to get pokemon shield and battle uh gym leader alistair let me know in the comments below but guys that's going to do it have a great day great night wherever you are and until next time peace out